Hey, good morning. It's TR back with another truck camper restoration video. And today we're starting the electrical. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I've always enjoyed doing the electrical work far more than I enjoyed doing plumbing. But today I've actually already got a pretty good head start in that I've already mounted my inverter. I've already got my fuse blocks in place. I've installed my bus bars. I've got the shunt installed and I've also installed the DC to DC charge controller that is also my MPPT solar charge controller. Renogy has a product now that combines both functions which is super handy. I'm super excited to have that function in one box. It just saves real estate and it's particularly important over here where it's really tight. <clears throat> Let me grab the other camera here and we'll go on a quick tour and I'll pet the dog. All right, I got a fresh battery. Let's come over here. So what you're seeing here, I'll get this camera adjusted. Let me set this probably right here. Yeah, there we go. These two fuse blocks belong to this device, which is the DC to DC charge controller. The 30 amp fuse will protect the circuit coming from the truck alternator, so I'll be doing the vehicle alternator charging, which by the way, I have an excellent article up on my website, trbullen.com. I'm linking to it up here in the corner. And you might want to check that out. It'll explain all of the details you need to go through to do alternator charging on a truck camper or a towable or anything like that. Uh, these are bus bars, obviously, positive negative bus bars, disconnect. I don't have it fully mounted yet. I just got it temped in there. And then if we look up here on the roof, this fuse here is protecting the whole system. So that's a 200 amp. This is our shunt. And then this 200 amp fuse will protect the inverter. The bottom of the inverter you're seeing installed right there. We'll go around here to the uh, inside and I'll show you how I got that set up. I haven't recorded a lot of this because it's such tight working space and it's just impossible to get cameras and everything in there and make it work. But what I've done with the inverter is this. Okay, so I've installed it in this closet. I've built this little enclosure around it. One of the things I want you to notice is look at all the airspace I have on all sides of it. I left enough airspace up here so if I need to I can install a 12 volt fan and provide more airflow through here. I think this is going to be plenty. In the door to this I have a whole bunch of vents cut to allow air to move through. So here's the door to that, it sits in there like that, okay I've got some vents, the same vents I used in the cab over underneath, and then I left this open, I'm going to get a little piece of plexiglass, and I'll put a piece of plexiglass on a hinge here that sets down, that'll protect this, and then this gives you access to the controls on the inverter. What I'm going to work on right now is, I'm going to install this. Uh, this is Bouge RV. They make really good solar stuff. They're known for it. And what this is, is that it, this is just terminated 10 gauge wire. And I can't remember, I think it's 15 feet, 20 feet. Awesome, so 20 feet of 10 gauge wire already terminated on MC4 connectors. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to replace, I ran wires from the electrical compartment to the roof and I'm going to replace them with this. It's a straight run, I built it that way on purpose, so it'll be easy to fix things or add things in the future. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna stretch this out, and I'm getting set up to install this roof gland, and what I'm gonna do with this, here are the little widgets that seal this up, make it watertight, but I'm gonna thread those all the way up onto here, and what I'm gonna have coming out of this roof gland are these two MC4 connectors, okay? They'll be on either side of it. And that way, for my solar panels, I'll just come with MC4 connectors, bing, bang, boom, I'm there, it's done, we're in good shape. So that's what I'm working on here for just a moment. This wire's cold. And it's pretty cold out here, it's not even, it's just barely 50 degrees right now, so 
I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this wire relax, get it over here in the sun and get it stretched out. There's a little O-ring rubber gasket and that of course can sit in here and then this nut goes on the back give it a little tweak here make sure it's good and snug we're going to chase these wires through this widget wink wink get through there Okay, so this is essentially what you're going to see on the roof. All right. Okay, I'm going to chase this down with the roof. All right. Now, the trick is going to be pulling this one down without pulling this down. So I'm going to have to try to tie it up somehow. Let's get this up here. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, you gotta be. I'm back. <laughs> now that I've got the damn ladder off the cables, I'm gonna be pulling. This is just gonna be as simple as taping these together. Actually, I gotta think that I might be able to just feed it through. I, think we'll, I guess we'll see. Alright, this one. Alright, let's go inside. Come with me. Hopefully, our hole's big enough, but right here is what I'm working on. I don't think. I'm gonna come back and mount this up later. I'm just leave myself a little slack here. Okay, yeah, I'll come back and screw this down later. Okay, I like to use a little bit of NICs on these stainless steel widgets like this. Can we get any out of this? There we go. It doesn't take much. like this all right this loop is going to go like up in here somewhere I'll put it up out of the way it'll probably be actually over here like this I'll get it there but anyway where that belongs can't do the other one all right we're gonna make this cable up i always like to just kind of eyeball and measure down here with me this is the temco th 007 crimper and it's a hammer actuated works like a charm so I found what works best is to set your the in the termination you're going to crimp get it square so it looks pretty and then bring your cable in so it's nice and firm make sure that's in right okay. and Usually it only takes a couple hits, and that's what you get.
that's how you make a cable. All right, so I fabricated this cable here. This is six gauge, put some copper lugs on it. You can install it from here to here. This will be the solar. This comes down through the top here. Okay, you don't need to over torque these, right? So not too much to break things. That's pretty good. Okay, and that comes out, up and over, and down like this. Alright, this one gets a 30 amp fuse. Okay, this I'm waiting for the ends to come, so we'll not worry about that one. I'll do a 2 watt now. Let's fix up this red cable here. It comes from here to there.